ghost problems. All right, 18 minutes after the hour. Now let's talk politics. Hillary Clinton continues to outmuscle her rival in the race for the White House. Uh, and let's talk money specifically. She has a major advantage after fundraising, uh, with fundraising over Donald Trump's last month. Uh, Clinton pulled in more than $58 million uh, into her campaign. She's about half a million dollars in, in debt. Compare that to Trump, who, although having a strong fundraising month, pulled in about $38 million. No debt uh, on his campaign books. Let's talk about this with Lily Garcia. She's the president of the National Education Association, Democratic superdelegate who supports Hillary Clinton. Also, Jack Kingston, senior advisor to the Trump campaign and former congressman uh, from Georgia. Good morning to both of you. Good, Good morning. morning. So let's talk about the numbers, just the, the, the headlines here. $58 million coming in in July to the Clinton campaign, about 38 to Trump. And uh, Congressman Kingston, Donald Trump is the candidate who has more ground to make up. He, it appears he has less money to do it. How does he either make up enough money to fight on the field that Clinton has set, or does he do it uh, for much less in a different way? You know, I think we're going to have to do it with much less. We do not have the George Soros. We don't have the Wall Street money. We don't have the big special interest groups who really are funding Hillary's campaign and have, frankly, funded her entire political career. Our donations are a lot smaller. They're a lot broader. They're more grassroots. But as you know, he won the Republican primary basically on earned media. You're not going to be able to do that in the general election. But still, J Donald Trump is somebody who at his rallies gets 15,000 people. Hillary Clinton gets 3,000 people. Uh, her overhead is a lot more. She has 700 paid employees. We don't have anything like that. We, we are a much more nimble grassroots organizations. We have to be. But our fundraising, our total numbers in July was about 40, uh, $82 million. Part of that was with the Republican National Committee. We're, uh, we're raising money now, but you know, this weekend we've seen Donald Trump has been in North Carolina. He's been in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Hillary Clinton has been, I think, on Martha's Vineyard, not going out and seeing the people, but fundraising. So there is an absolute different style and a different approach. All right, we'll get to that different style in a moment and uh, how uh, Donald Trump makes up the ground in all of the battleground states and nationally because he's uh, behind in, in those polls. Let me come to you. Uh, Ms. Garcia, as the congressman brought up this point, much deeper payroll, much larger organization, her burn rate higher to date and, and in the month of July, higher than Donald Trump's. Is she spending too much money? Is the organization too large? Donald Trump can't make up this ground because he has no ground game. She does. She has the most amazing team. She has the most amazing volunteers that are out there knocking doors. A lot of them are educators. I represent three million um, educators that work in public schools, colleges, and universities. We know what's at stake here. And the whole um, interesting phenomenon about rallies, the kinds of uh, media attention that Donald Trump is getting from the things he's saying at rallies yeah. is not resonating with the public. You can take a look at any any polls, in fact, all of them. And what gets applause lines at a rally is a laugh line uh, with the rest of the public. They're not buying what so he says. The They're not buying is what he's selling. The free media here is not helping Donald Trump. I guess that's your Absolutely argument here. Absolutely not. Let, and I think we can take a look at the polls and see that. And let me play this uh, ad that came out from the RNC uh, about Hillary Clinton, then we'll talk about it on the other side. Welcome aboard Hillary Clinton's liberal elite summer tour. With frequent stops in Beverly Hills, Hollywood, and Cape Cod. Please use caution when opening the overhead bins, as Hillary's baggage may have shifted during flight. All right, so uh, Ms. Garcia, there is the, uh, the, the storyline that we heard from Congressman Kingston. It's where Hillary Clinton is raising her money that uh, the Trump campaign, the RNC at least believes, could be an inroad into some of those voters that uh, Donald Trump's trying to attract. You say what to that? Well, uh, obviously, she's got small donors, large donors. She's got people who are investing in a future that we believe in. We believe in things like public education and public services. And so that's why we've got people all over the country willing to walk neighborhoods and, and do whatever it takes to make sure she gets elected. I think they have to shift the 
discussion. I think they have to um, absolutely get people to uh, like on that um, on that ad. Uh, stop actually asking about issues because when you look at the issues, she's got plans and he's got slogans. He's got nothing. Well, the argument there is is where Hillary Clinton is going to get her money is from the elites on the the West Coast and the East Coast. We need to take a quick and break. And everyone in between. That's the issue. Right. She has been raising money from people who really want something better for America. All right, Ms. And Garcia. that's why they're donating. We can take a quick break. We'll start with you, Congressman. Right on the other side of this break. Thanks.